Hey everybody, today we're going to continue counting pennies, nickels, and dimes. And there's not much new this day, except that we preview with kids that 100 cents is the exact same as $1. So you'll again open with a quick review of our coins. And this is where you have an opportunity to talk about 100 cents. So as you talk about what coin is this, how much is it worth, what do we skip count it by, and you talk about how this is 100 cents, you want to tell kids that 100 cents is the same as one dollar. So anytime I have 100 cents, another way I can say that is that I have one dollar. Or if I have one dollar, another way I could say it is that I have 100 cents. So if you have 10 dimes and I have a one dollar bill, we have the same amount of money. It's just a different way to show it. Go back to the idea of figuring out how much money we have. This gets back to the last guided practice slide from your work yesterday. So it really pushes kids to not only think about how they can use skip counting to figure out how much money they have, but it really helps them sort and organize their coins in thinking about starting with the coin with the greatest value first. So what are some ways we could figure out how much money we have? We can skip count. We should start with the coin with the greatest value first. So let's find all of our dimes. One, two, three, four. Let's even rewrite them to help keep track of what we're skip counting by. Now after dimes, what do we count? Our nickels. How many nickels do we see? Let's rewrite them. And finally, we see one penny. Now we can skip count. 10, 20, 30, 40. Up. Oh, we have to stop. Now what do we have to do? We can press and count. 45, 50, 55, 60, 61. So we have 61 cents. Notice what we did there. Our coins were all mixed up. It's like we reached into our pocket and pulled out these coins. So we had to make sure that we sorted them first. We found our coin with the greatest value first. So we found our dimes, then we found our nickels, then we found our pennies, and then we could skip count. Lots of practice together. And the last slide has your coins all mixed up, but it also equals, after kids count it up, 100 cents. So it gets back to that idea that anytime we have 100 cents, it's the same as $1.